Hey guys, so uh, yeah, I just got my new card installed. I got the GTX 970 from Gigabyte, the G1 gaming version, uh, factory overclocked, uh, the highest for any factory overclock, I believe. And I've actually been overclocking it some more and trying to run some benches on uh, 3D Mark, seeing what kind of uh, scores I can get. So far, I've managed just under 11,500 on regular Fire Strike, uh, which is a big improvement over my. GTX 70 for the win version which gave me about 6800 I think at the highest so uh, yeah about 75 percent improvement or so pretty good uh, pretty good upgrade for uh, 360 dollars I got on Amazon uh, yeah, it's the you see the little wind force logo pulsating there I, I think that's a nice touch you can uh, change the way the LED pulsates uh, they did that from uh, Starting from the 700 series. I couldn't do that on my 600 series though, it wasn't supported. Uh, but I, I like the one where you can actually make it pulsate according to the music or sounds on your uh, system. That's pretty cool. So it kind of kind of like a little party light, you know, going off if you're playing music or something. So I'm going to run some more benches here and uh, show you the screen. I, I'm not going to show any of the failed benches, like where the where the system restarts or whatever. I'm just going to show the ones where I kind of improve my score a little bit and see if I can maybe break 11,500 or get closer to 12,000 and uh, compare with some other people. I'm running an i7 4770K processor with uh, air cooled with the uh, Thermalright Silver Arrow. That's that gigantic thing there you see with the two with the the heat pipes and the two fans. Had that since my uh, i7 930 Bloomfield and it uh, such a good cooler. I just decided to keep it and use it on uh, on this new Haswell processor. So let's get to the benches. Alright for the first test here um, I've got my processor overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz. I have not had a successful bench with the speed yet. I've only made 4.7 and I'm gradually turning the uh, offset voltage up. I'm up to 0.21 over now. It's turned yellow on me. Uh, which is pretty high even for air cooling but I do have that massive cooler on there so it should be able to handle it pretty well. Using NVIDIA Inspector to overclock the uh, GPU that's kind of a weird effect there. Um, I am at 1360 on the GPU it's 182 overclock and then 300 megahertz overclock on the RAM. Starting to get a little bit of artifacts at this high um, I've gone as far as 1350 it's been pretty well uh, stable I have noticed that the um, increasing the voltage hasn't made much of a difference at all, especially like increasing the the power target range. If I bring that all the way up, it seems to perform worse actually. So I'm leaving that at 100 and just most messing with the voltage only. I'm at a 0.50 millivolt overvolt right now. So I'm going to try my first run here on Fire Strike regular, and we'll see how it turns out. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, it, it took me literally about five or six tries to get a successful result, and about two seconds after this result got posted, my system restarted. So <laughs> I just barely made it online. Not not too stable, but so far this is my highest, eleven thousand six hundred and fourteen. Uh, better than ninety six percent of all results. It says. I believe that's based off of my uh, my stuff there, but my uh, processor type and video card type. So I, I do results based on my processor, the i77K, 7700, 4770K and uh, the GTX 970. Uh, I had, uh, what was it, 11,000, I would say 11,614. Go in here and compare scores. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few that are still above me, not by much, um, but there's, there's still some more room for improvement. Uh, like I said, this was with the GPU set um, 172, yeah, above uh, stock, and the I had to make some changes on this actually. I did 172 above stock, and then 400 above stock on the memory. So that's uh, what did that say? It's 1350 on the core and 3.9 gigahertz on the memory. So put it back to default and then the processor was at 4.8 at um, I set it at 
I believe it's 0.22 above stock voltage on adaptive. Yeah. I'm using 0 0.08 on 4.4, and then I used 0 0.22 at 4.8, and it was still it still crashed on me right at the very end there. So I probably need to try 0 0.23, 0 0.24. It's getting kind of dangerous for air cooling, so I wouldn't go too much higher. It's probably about the highest I'm going to get from for this processor, which is still really good considering it's a 3.5 gigahertz processor, you know, uh, turbo at 3.9. So a pretty good overclock, and. Uh, that's my first result. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have too much time left to, to try this again. I, I really want to hit 12,000. I think that, that's going to be my goal. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to do it. I mean, so far, increasing voltage hasn't made much of a difference at all on this card. I've con this this result I just did was with no over voltage whatsoever, and I've tried bumping it all the way up uh, as high as this, this goes, just 0.87 point or yeah, plus 87.5 millivolts. And it didn't seem to make any difference at all as far as stability. It just seems to take care of the, like any artifacting I might get if I go too high. But it doesn't improve the stability at all. And what really sucks about this card, you know, if, if it crashes because the core is too high, it just hard locks on this card. I, I really don't like that at all. Uh, my other card, it would just reset the display adapter and you'd be fine again. But this, this one, you got to restart the whole system because it just completely hard locks with a black screen and you gotta restart every time that really sucks right now <laughs> so that's probably my only gripe with this card uh, it's not too fun to overclock it because you have to restart your system all the time it won't just um, uh, you know reset the display adapter um, but yeah I'm pretty happy with that run 4.8 gigahertz and uh, the core is at 1350 up from 1178 which was the stock clock the stock overclock on this this card from the factory so it's already been overclocked quite a bit so yeah it's probably like a it's a 300 some megahertz overclock plus whatever the, the stock the stock is it's, a, it's 1000 something is the stock for a GTX 970 so there you go guys and like I said I'm out of time uh, I'm gonna try and make another video later maybe if I can get higher than this uh, then I'll post it I really want to break 12,000 because that seems to be where uh, that seems to be like the this, the target range because because that would if I can make break ten thousand then I'll be on top here, according to this graph you know for this processor in this um, GTX nine seventy, so I'm not too far away three hundred marks three four hundred marks away, uh, I got to find a way to get more uh, more voltage into it somehow without it crashing, uh, well, I'll see what I can do maybe take it outside in the cold weather or something I've done that before, <laughs> so thanks for watching guys.